There's Rascal right there in the habitat. She's not quite sure about these other raccoons yet. That's all right. She's huffing and puffing a little bit. She's not quite sure about these other raccoons. But she's actually doing really well. This is their swimming pool. She's got to check out this place. I just hosed it out so it Although it still, of course, smells like the other raccoons. It isn't, you know, full of all of their poop and everything. So hopefully that'll make the transition a little bit easier. I also filled up the feeding station with the remainder of her food. That's the feeding station right there, that blue container. Now she's not sure about these raccoons yet, but this is exactly what every single one does. They do a little dance. They snarl a little bit just because they're not quite sure. And it's funny because usually the first two hours they're afraid of the other raccoons, but by the end of the night they're all snuggled up together in the hammock. So. She's a little scared right now. She's not too sure about these guys. That's their, one of their drinking buckets. But she's got plenty of places to hide in. And lots of room to go up and crawl around and everything. So she'll be fine until she fully integrates with them. They're very good about being kind of hands off. One or two will come up and greet the other new raccoon, but then they kind of stay away from them for a little while and let them get adjusted. It doesn't help that I also filled up um, a bunch of acorns in their little um, wood chip pile over here. So they're excited about all the acorns. So they're not giving Rascal too much attention right now, which is perfectly fine. It gives her a chance to explore on her own and check out her new surroundings. She's been doing a fantastic job out here at night um, in the other cage where she's been alone. The first night I, I gave her some warm heating discs, but after that I didn't need to do it anymore. She didn't even use them the first night. so. I've also added some of her toys in here. Um, I hung up that little bird wooden bell thingy, whatever it's called. Hung that up over there and I have her green squeaky toy right here that I've been squeaking every now and then. Because she, I found out that she really loves the noise and it helps calm her down. Of course, the other raccoons would like to get it, but it's hands off for now. I think she'll be okay. She's doing really well so far. She's exploring and trying to figure out, you know, the perimeter of the cage and how far it is. It's 16 feet by 12 feet and then 8 foot tall. So she's got quite a large range here, um, which is important. She needs to learn how to climb and everything. Now she hasn't really done much climbing yet. So she'll get the opportunity to do that in here. 
She'll also get the opportunity to fall on occasion, which happens to every single raccoon every now and then. But the floor is really nice because it's, uh, it's got some rubber consistency to it. So it bounces really well. So they don't ever hurt themselves on it. That was one of my criteria for this floor. Hey, sweetheart. She's actually doing really well with the other raccoon here. She's not sure about him, but she's also not too afraid and she's she's not too angry because she's not turning around and actually trying to attack him or anything. I always make sure to stay out here for the first 30 minutes or so every time another raccoon is entered. Ooh, she slipped. Every time another uh, raccoon is introduced into the habitat, I stay out here with them to watch and make sure nothing happens. Nothing ever has, but I'll tell you, the first couple of times I introduced a new raccoon to the group, I had a, a water hose at the ready just in case I had to use it. But it's, it's so funny. They kind of know that they're raccoons, and they actually mesh really well with one another after the first 30 minutes or so. Now you see her climbing. Sorry about that. It's one of the hammocks right there in the way. Just trying to figure out what all the space is. How high does it go? I'll continue to take video and pictures uh, throughout the time that Rascal is with me, but uh, I'm going to end this video now. But thanks so much for all that you've done for her. She is in fantastic care, and I think she'll be just fine.